Hello everyone. Welcome to you on Think Future Academy. Today we are going to learn how to calculate sum with criteria sum ifs using name range. Let's begin. You can see here this is my data for today. I have created already the name range but for your information I will do it today again. I am just going to select all my data. I will go, go to formula tab. And here is my manager and I am first going to remove selecting all, delete, OK and close. Now all my data ranges been cancelled. There is nothing remained here. Now I am going to create again. I am going to select my all data, control shift tab, create from selection, top row, OK, yes. Now you can see it here, all in the name range, all columns have created their own names with the header name. So we are going to learn different techniques to use name range function to calculate sum with using sum ifs. Number one, here we will use sum ifs function and we will see how to calculate using name range. For example, here I'm going to write equals to sum ifs and I will press tab and it is asking me sum range. Sum range means what is my calculation area? My calculation area here is total. Total. Total value, whatever it is there. And what is my criteria range? It is state. And what is my criteria? V VIC. And I will press enter and you will see here the value. <coughs> and I will drag the information down and it will do for me the calculation of sum. Now we are going to the next level with customer type equals to sum ifs. What is my sum? Sum is total. Total. Comma. Criteria range. Customer type. One arrow down and press tab key. Comma. Criteria one is this one. Now you can see all values are there. I'm just dragging my information. Okay. Now I will go to the next level where it's multiple now where I have to calculate two informations considering value okay equals to sum ifs total comma criteria range my first criteria range is order year order year and comma criteria one is my b4 b4 comma criteria range two my criteria range is two is what state and criteria two is where here in c3 press enter and give it a little bit space here so that it will give us a complete solution of our and then I'm just going to drag down you can see here is the problem what you need to do it here you will hear in this one area what you will do just press F4 and again F4 again and F4 when the dollar sign comes on the left side then leave it and fix it this one as well as column 
okay we will see what behavior it will show now if I'm going to do it now you can see it's calculating everything perfectly and we will validate that either information is correct or wrong either it is going somewhere else or not see now you can see here it is automatically calculating the values see here now I'm dragging it okay so make sure when you are considering the headers you will define as row when the dollar sign in between these two values it will be a row and when outside of uh, this information B before B it is column so it will be fixed over here now I'm going to show you how to calculate for this one again for sometimes for example we want to copy and paste the formula here control C and control V we will see how it will behave you can see it it automatically pick up the values then I'm going to drag down and values are available and then again I am going to copy and paste it here and it is giving me the same so you don't have to do again and again uh, formula calculation you can copy and paste the same way and it is summing up all these three values and it is giving me the whole range okay now you can see it here this method is criteria two criteria we used here state and order year here you can see it we will use criteria this one using sum for uh, uh, greater than 40 here if you remember in my last video we used count function with greater sign to find out the count numbers in the order quantity so here we will use the sum value if it is greater than 1000 2000 or 10000 for example here equals to sum ifs my sum range is uh, total and my criteria range is first criteria is order quantity you can see here okay order quantity comma greater than inverted commas greater than 40 comma criteria 2 is state comma criteria 2 is this one we will see now how it will behave now you can see it here it is calculating for me for me the same thing now I am just dragging the information and using this one for example now if I want to make it dynamic I can use this 40 here for example here I'm writing it 40 okay and while I'm calculating I will assign this 40 this one uh, here inverted commas and one minute we will do it again here and 40 you can see it here now it is giving some error now because we are using the dynamic values so better we will use the same method greater than 60 for example you can see it here it is not showing anything 50 40 it is showing so it means for VIC more than 40 it's nothing available 
Now we are going to next level, dynamic weight ranges. Here we will use a multiple criteria using some ifs. Here in my last video, we learned about how to count between the date ranges and we will see here how to do the same way uh, dynamically date range function. Okay. Equals to some ifs some range is total total comma my criteria range is first state state comma criteria range is this one comma second criteria is customer type comma criteria two is this one Number three criteria range is order, year, and it is this one, comma, account manager, comma, this one. Now I'm going to close it. You can see it here. I first calculated only based on the sum. It's not dynamically with the date. I will do it with the date as well. This one is simply we use to calculate sum. If I change the state, you can see the score has been gone. It is not available over there. Only VIC is available. So Conbat is having this one. And we can try it here. Some other states. Corporate. We will change. Consumer. Of head office. Office. 2013. 14. 15. Mm. So he is not available in this one. We will see some other account manager name who is available in 2017. We will directly see it from here, who is in 2017, uh, NWS and Lytton. We will see NWS state and Lytton. Now you can see it here all is available now so if i will change the date here 2017 you can find here as well this data now i'm going to use in the same formula here this date function if you remember we used it here in this one and we will use it here as well now, for example, I'm going to make it copy this formula and I will paste it down here and comma criteria range again. See, what is my criteria range? My criteria range is order date. Now we will see that one in which year it was there, 2013 are 2017 in between order date is that in which month we have ordered you can find here order date in the section so you can see it here now i am going to calculate comma order date comma Break, uh, this inverted comma st started and greater than equals to close and percent sign and this date comma again order date order date comma inverted commas less than equals to shift and this ampersand sign 
which is if you press hold the shift and seven digit it will give you and this value and we will close it now we will see you can see it here now if I'm changing the year it is showing me nothing you can see it here as well it's nothing it is no, it is counting because here we have not used the dynamic range of the dates here we are using the dates so if I will use it here for example now back to VIC and we will go to combat we will go to year 2013 you will see it here all information is available and if I'm going to change the date you will find here nothing so it means it is falling in between 13 six cases up till 14 the same 13 also I think so we will check it see it is reducing four cases and this is the sum value for those so we used the date range over there here we use also the same date range uh, very simple manner uh, with the state order and this one so you can try this one by yourself if you have any problem you can come back to me through your comments i will attach this excel sheet with my youtube video thank you very much